Alright, so I was on Twitter just looking for topics to talk about uh, for a video, and I was scrolling down my feed when I see this tweet from IGN. CD Projekt Red has removed a Cyberpunk 2077 mod that would let players swap models and have sex with characters such as Keanu Reeves. Cyberpunk 2077 players are down horrendous. Now, I, I can't say that I would have never expected something like this to, you know, exist, but it, it just surprised me so much. Anyways, guys, enough of this, on to the, uh, the actual video. So, Hitman 3 released the other day, and, you know, I haven't played it yet, but I probably will in the future after I make upgrades to my PC when I get the chance. But, it does look like a pretty good game. And with the release of Hitman 3, came a VR mode that a lot of people were excited about. Hitman in VR sounds fucking amazing, right? Well, it does. However, the only people that are going to get to play it are people on PS4 that have a PlayStation VR headset. Because it's exclusive to PSVR. Why? So when I first heard that Hitman 3's VR mode would be exclusive to PlayStation VR, I was kind of mad about it because it does it makes sense to just bring Hitman 3's VR mode over to PC. Now unfortunately, Xbox players will never get they don't get to experience Hitman 3 in VR. But, a lot of games do have VR modes that released on Xbox One, PS4, and PC, so it doesn't, e it doesn't even matter if the VR mode, you know, isn't on Xbox One. Star Wars Squadrons has a VR mode on PC, and I think it's- I think it has a VR mode on, uh, PlayStation 4 for PSVR, but I'm not too sure about that. But I know for a fact Star Wars Squadrons is playable in VR on PC. So if Star Wars Squadrons can, you know, be played in VR on PC, Hitman 3 should be able to. But no, it's locked off to PlayStation VR, which doesn't look nearly as... The game would not look n as good as it would on PC in VR. Imagine Hitman 3 on PC VR. It would look 10 times better than it would on PlayStation VR. Now don't get me wrong, PSVR is a good headset, but it's not nearly as good as some of the PC VR headsets on the market right now. Even the Quest 2 is just a little bit better than it when it comes to stuff like resolution. Now I think this was all done because Sony might have paid, I think Sony might have paid IO Interactive to make the mode exclusive to PlayStation VR and I'm hoping that it's just a timed exclusive and not, you know, a permanent exclusive because eventually when I do upgrade my PC and buy Hitman 3, I would like to play the VR mode so I don't have to go out and buy a PS4 just to play the game in VR. But anyways guys, that's really about it. This video was a bit shorter than my other ones just because I didn't really have a lot to say about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Are you guys mad that it's exclusive to PlayStation VR? Do you guys own a PS4 and PlayStation VR? Have you already played Hitman 3 in VR or just Hitman 3 in general? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.